Hi, this is Dr. Rodney Rantry, a.k.a. The Fish Listener. I'm excited to tell you about a new Trident ROV that I was recently awarded through the Open Explorer program for my Listening to Fish blog with National Geographic. I received the Trident a couple weeks ago, and this is some video of my first test runs. It's been a real learning experience for me, as I've never played video games before, and I have a lot of trouble using the joystick game console that operates ROV. Plus, as you'll see, the conditions I'm working in are very challenging. My first deployment was at night on the Katuit Town docks on Cape Cod, where I do a lot of my fish listening. Here you'll see the water is very shallow and murky, and the ROV often stirs up the bottom. Here I'm, I'm learning how to operate the ROV, and I'm, it goes very fast. Oops, bumping into the bottom. See there's a little herring. And on the bottom is a little black sea bass that just went by at the bottom of the screen. In a moment you'll see a little sea bass on the piling. My second deployment was in Hollowell, Maine, on the Kennebec River, where I've been researching the sounds of sturgeon and other freshwater fishes. I did a little bit better at piloting the ROV here, but I accidentally turned off the video recorder about two minutes into the dive, so I didn't get the video of the big catfish and the eels that I saw. You see the bottom, there's a lot of muscles on the bottom here. There's a fairly strong current in the river. My third deployment was on August 9th on a beach in Falmouth, Massachusetts. The first video you'll see is from a hel helmet cam uh, showing me deploying the ROV. The sounds you hear are of cuskeels and other fishes together with waves served from a hydrophone. Unfortunately, the ROV uh, video is without sound. <laughs> setting out the ROV in the shallow water. And now I'm starting to pilot the ROV. See how fast it moves. And that's at the very slowest speed. Now this video is from the ROV itself. So you see a lot of silver side of minnows and You can see the ROVs being washed back and forth in the surge. I'm finally getting oriented and 
moving off into the deeper water. The current and the surge, that there's a little striped bass that just swam by. The current and the surge, there's a little uh, black bass on the bottom, and we'll see him again in a moment. There he is. You see from this how difficult it is to work in these shallow 